Happening tonight, the Jacksonville City Council expected to decide what to do with a pair of Confederate monuments on city property. The debate comes two years after the mayor said that they need to come down. News for Jacks reporter Ashley Harding is joining us now live outside City Hall. Ashley, you were there when the city took the first step in that direction. Jennifer and Bruce, good at Tuesday morning to you both. Yes, and I remember it like it was yesterday. It happened in the middle of the night two years ago when crews removed the statue here at what is now known as James Walden Johnson Park and put it on a flatbed. You know, the pedestal you see is still here and there is a push to remove it and another statue at Springfield Park. Well, tonight city leaders are expected to take action. When it comes to Confederate monuments in Jacksonville, Councilman Matt Carlucci says one thing. Enough of the talk. We need some action. Action. That's what the city council is expected to do with tonight's vote. Carlucci says he's listened to the arguments for years. Just recently, he put up a drone in Springfield Park to see for himself what the flag above the monument column reveals. He says the proof is in the picture. Yeah, it's this Confederate flag for sure. And you know, a Confederate flag in whole or in part, in bronze or in cloth, it doesn't belong in, in a public park. Public parks should be about unity, friendship, family fun, and not with something that's a divider. Some disagree. Last week, News for Jacks heard from this man who says monuments should stay up. It's part of your ancestry's history, and that's what I look at it as. Not as a hate monument, anything else. I look at it as it's part of my history. This removal culture will forever change the landscape of Jacksonville, and your names will be referenced alongside this destruction of history. Carlucci says it may take convincing, but hopes the city will finish what it started. How confident are you that the council will vote to pass to uh, start the next step? I would like to be more confident. Um, it's going to take uh, three or four members changing their minds. I, I have put my heart and soul into this because it's really perhaps the most important issue I will have taken on as a council member. And Carlucci says if this passes tonight at City Hall, he will work with the administration to discuss the logistics of moving the monument. Tonight's City Council meeting is scheduled for 5 o'clock. Live at City Hall, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.